We are the creators and inventors of past challenges and future success stories. We are rooted and threaded by the earth above and below. Like thread that gets pulled from the clothes we wear, tossed away without repair. Plastic bottles and charred pieces of glass, watered up newspapers tossed on the grass. Melting plastics and tearing out trees, we ask, Will this be the environment that surrounds me? Fashion is the second most polluting industry impacting our planet, and I don't want to add to the list of problems we as an industry have already created. There is no break in sight for exhausted crews battling Australia's raging bushfire. Sustainability is not just a trend, it is supposed to become a lifestyle. Everyone on the planet should start to think about their conscious consumption. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction and all you can talk about is money. We have to take responsibility and have courage to change as every one of us has a responsibility for this business. And globally there are now almost two million confirmed cases of coronavirus. We are in an unprecedented crisis. Publicly funded schools in this province will not be open. Finishing the line while working remotely has been a little bit of a challenge because I still have some of the stuff I need in the school and it's all locked up because of COVID. So finishing the collection remotely has been difficult. Um, just setting up a functional studio space. So for me, I had to get power into the space so I would have power to uh, run the sewing machine, but also to have lights in the evening. Um, and motivation. Motivation has been a um, large obstacle. The only thing I'd say that's been a challenge really has been the fact that you don't have a real schedule and it's up to you to determine like, okay, I need to do this at this time and you know, everything else has to be put out of the way. We are rooted and threaded by the earth above and below. The future that I see is one where no one is afraid to push the limits and everyone understands that sustainability is not a hindrance, but a doorway to innovation. Eroded Shadows is a collection based on the idea of death and decay, and the fact that everyone and everything belongs to the earth. We all came from it, and we will all eventually return to it. I've used all natural fibers, along with ones that can be endlessly recycled to ensure the process of decay is as safe for the earth as possible. The world's awareness of the impact that the fashion industry has on the environment is increasing, but it is not where it needs to be. My vision is a time when we no longer strive for sustainability because the people accept the need. A lot of research and my global interaction went into finding biotech fabric, biodegradable fabrics, with also naturally dyeing them, as well as being open with my supply chain. Designing for zero waste is exactly what it sounds like. Designing with the intention of creating zero waste from not just what materials you source, but also where you source them from, to pattern making and cutting. As a designer, I feel it is very important to hold myself accountable for how much pollution and waste I create throughout the whole design process. 
I wanted to minimize my consumption of resources because at the end of the day, we do not have an endless supply of resources. Fashion is the second most polluting industry impacting our planet, and I don't want to add to the list of problems we as an industry have already created. I want to be a part of the solution that helps repair our Earth. My collection was created using remanufactured existing materials. I made sure to source only 100% cotton denim because at the end of the life cycle of the garment, it is much easier to recycle a monofiber into a new textile. We are the creators and inventors of past challenges and future success stories. My collection is named Street Creed. It follows streetwear fashion and has a few reversible garments. The fabric purchased is death stock providing a longer lifetime for the fabric that was left over by previous designers. Some of the trims, like Japanese glass beads, are biodegradable over time. Scraps from the collection are used to make washing bags that allow for more delicate washes to protect the garments, allowing them to last longer. In my collection, I tried to use several options that can reduce the amount of waste in the fashion industry, such as zero-waste pattern, dead stock fabrics and trims, and natural biodegradable textiles. I also hope that we, as a new generation of designers, will be able to change the situation with waste and consumption and save our planet for future generations. My collection, entitled Consume, was inspired by natural disasters, in particular wildfires, and how they consume all in its path. Consume also addresses the notion of overconsumption in the fashion industry and how these choices have affected the environment. Knowing the impact that the fashion industry has on the environment, all fabrics sourced for this collection were dead stock and all scraps, pieces of fabric and threads were incorporated back into the collection, creating a zero waste collection. The collection was designed to have a number of staple garments that have a classic silhouette, which have the ability to be quickly altered to change the look of the garment when desired and statement pieces designed to reflect the unruly nature of fire. To make my collection sustainable, I used all organic and natural fabrics, and I used my scraps to create accessories such as bags and jewelry. I based my garments off of contemporary and street styles with a strong tropical print and transformable elements. My vision for sustainability is that garments are created for long-term use. Quality-made clothing designed to outlast trends can be cherished by the wearer for a lifetime. Evanescent Pastoral is focused on providing an intimate experience for the wearer. Based on traditional European folklore and fairy tales, all pieces in the line were designed with the wearer's childhood memories in mind. This provides a bond between the garment and the wearer, which is reminiscent of vintage hand-me-downs and clothes she's had forever. Plastic bottles and charred pieces of glass watered up newspapers, tossed on the grass. Sustainability is a movement to prioritize our environmentally friendly practices. In order to make lower impacts on the world, I made sure I used different methods to make this line sustainable. One of the biggest issues we are facing today is waste coming from plastics. Because of that, I decided to use recycled polyester fabric and thread both are biodegradable and can be recycled again. Since the collection is based on sustainability, some of my garments are zero waste and others are made from recycled fabric. The main source of material in my collection is unwanted clothing sourced from thrift stores. All materials I'm using are natural materials, cotton and rayon. Drawstrings and paper bag waists allow for transformable garments that can be worn on many sizes. This allows for garments to develop with you. The boxy look of the garments is inspired by comfort and modesty. I enjoyed exploring new ways to create clothing and thinking of ways to make clothing lasting and reusable. Fashion is creative, fashion is innovative, fashion is sustainable. Learning to adapt to your current situation and learning to adapt quickly 
is so important in life right now. To be honest, when it all started, I lost all my motivation to do any work. But after a few days, I decided that I want my garments to be done. I just will be really proud of myself that in these hard times, I continued working and didn't give up. Working from home is very stress-free. We're all just trying to cope with what's happening and deal with everything and make the best out of it because we want the show to keep going on and that's what we're here for. Finishing this line was quite challenging because fashion designers mostly depend on design studios and also because we don't have as many things as we need so that we can finish our garments at home. Working away from everything that I've had since first year, um, you know, very first day, all the machines, the studios, you know, the, the profs, you know, their direction has just definitely been hard and, you know, different experience. Being able to be so involved and dedicated towards finishing a collection really shows the perseverance and the, the problem-solving skills that each of us have. Organization helps, helps you keep a clear workspace and also a clear headspace. Without a clear workspace, things become cluttered and so does your mind. Instead of buying brand new denim, why not thrift it and upcycle them? Or buy dead stock fabric? Zero waste designing is the only option we have if we want to sustain our living. Melting plastics and tearing out trees, we ask. Will this be the environment that surrounds me? We are rooted and threaded by the earth above and below. We are the creators and inventors of past challenges and future success stories. Plastic bottles and charred pieces of glass, wadded up newspapers tossed on the grass, melting plastics and tearing out trees. We ask, will this be the environment that surrounds me? Will this be the environment that surrounds me? Will this be the environment that surrounds me?